Mr. Chairman, thank you for coming today. Um, my good friend, Senator Brown, um, lamented the fact that, that uh, our financial institutions are, are making profits now. Um, that's a good thing, right? Uh, we need a profitable financial system to have a well-capitalized financial system. Well, it, it, is it better if banks are making money or losing money? from a macroeconomic standpoint? I think we want banks to be profitable and, and strong and well-capitalized, and they have been. Okay. I want to talk about the government shutdown. Uh, t tell me if I got this, get this wrong. CBO estimates an $11 billion impact to our economy. We'll recover about $8 billion, so the net loss to our economy is $3 billion. Does that sound about right? I, all I know about that is I, that's what I've read. Okay, that's what I've read too. Got to trust somebody. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take CBO at their word. We've got about a twenty-one trillion dollar economy. Is that right? Sounds about right. Okay. Um, so, as a percentage of our economy, that three billion dollar loss is one and a half percent of one percent. Is that about right? You did that math very quickly, Senator. I, no, I, 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 I believe I you. Ready. I'm going to I'm going to trust you on that. Good. <laughs> okay, that's an infinitesimal impact, is it not? That's very small. Okay. Let's talk about uh, the economy. Um, since some economists said that if we uh, pass the job, uh, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, that our economy would overheat. Those economists were wrong, were they not? Uh, the economy did not overheat, has no. not overheated. We're having growth without inflation, is that correct? We have inflation right at our target. Right about 2.2 percent? Right, right around 2 percent, 1.9 percent. Okay, and we've had more business investment. Is that correct? We have had solid investment, um, very solid in the first part of last year and, and uh, reasonably good in, in the second half of this year. And, and I think the outlook is for continued, uh, uh, you know, reasonable levels of business investment. And wages are up. Is that correct? Yes, they are. As I mentioned, you, you have wages now. All of our wage measures have moved up to 3 or 3% 3 or a little better, which is a, a very uh, good thing to see. Well, I, I want to get your opinion on, on uh, <clears throat> and I'm not trying to ask you to make policy, but I'm, I'm asking you as a Fed chair, what could, could we have done in hindsight to, uh, to encourage more business investment in plants and machinery and equipment and software which would have created more jobs and hopefully increased productivity. Specifically, let me ask you this. There's legislation to uh, prohibit share buybacks. Uh, if, if, is that a good thing? I know share, share buybacks have, have an economic, a positive economic impact, but if you had legislation that cut business taxes but also said you can't use that money to buy back shares, you have to invest it in your company uh, or pay shareholders dividends. Um, what would you think about legislation like that, from just from an economic standpoint? Well, I think it's first of all that that kind of a decision is really not in our hands. I know. It's really for, for 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 you to make. I'm asking you as an economist. So as a, I would say the 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 goal. I, I guess I would just say the goal of of having prosperity be widely shared. I think is one that we all share. I think um, uh, the thing about share by, about when you when you talk about uh, companies and what they do with their profits and how they allocate capital in our system we've always left those decisions to the private sector to private hands right and I would want to I would want to understand uh, the consequences of of, uh, of changing that and I, I would want to look at wh whether there aren't other ways to achieve the the goals that I think we all want which is uh, which is to have prosperity be widely shared. Okay. Are, are there other ideas you might have to, to uh, make sure prosperity is more widely shared? I think it ties to some of the things we've been talking about here. You know, l labor force participation is, is just a win for the overall economy. The economy will grow faster, and the, the people who are not taking part tend to be the ones with lower education, who are at the edges of the labor force. So um, we are underperforming as a nation on this compared to our peer group. Why? It's a good question. Um, yeah, it just it is a, it is a problem that stands out here compared to other other countries. And um, is it because we pay people 
uh, too, too much not to work, or is it because people don't have the skills, or is it because they don't have access to the jobs? This is my last one, Mr. Chairman. You know, I think there are, there's a range of perspectives on this, and there are a range of, of there, there's some wisdom in, in a lot of different ideas, and I think the best thing to do would be to get to, to get some, some, some proposals that would have broad support and work on those. I do think quite a bit of it is skills, education, aptitude, and also not having disincentives in the tax code where people lose their benefits, for example, with the first dollar of pay. That seems like a disincentive to work that, that and none of this, by the way, is in the Fed's in the Fed's hands, but since you ask. You're doing a great job, thank you. Thank you, Senator. 